Hi everyone! This video is going to be about liquid highlighter. So as you may know, in a previous video we've already talked about powder highlighter and this time we're going to talk about the liquid form. It's kind of like you have this cream contour and you put powder contour on top of that. It's kind of like that and it kind of intensifies the effect. Um, but you can also just leave it like that. Just use a liquid highlighter and don't put any powder on top of that. Or not use liquid highlighter and just put powder highlighter on your face. Makeup is just all about what you like, what you want to put on your face, and what you think is pretty or suits your, your face shape. So when applying this, you want to be careful. Um, you don't want to take too much because it's going to be really hard to blend out and it's just going to leave these really reflective patches on your face, which is not really the goal here. And it's usually best to use your fingers or a beauty sponge or something like that to apply it. Um, just because you have to pat the product in and definitely like don't rub it in. Um, because they usually don't really mix that well with foundations. So once you smear it on, it's just, it's going to create these areas where there's no foundation left. And then these areas where there's just an excess of foundation. And instead of creating that really cute glow with the liquid highlighter, you're just going to disrupt the foundation. It's going to look like a mess already. So just pat it in gently and don't use too much at a time. The places where you want to put this is the exact same as the powder highlighter. On top of the cheekbones, um, on the cupid's bow, on the bridge of your nose, above your eyebrows, things like that. Some people do it on the chin, but I've explained why I don't really like that on myself. Of course, every liquid highlighter is a bit different. You've got these really intense ones where you want to make sure that you distribute the products that it doesn't get too reflective and then there are these um super natural ones where you don't even necessarily get the feeling that there's a liquid highlighter on top of people's face when you apply it um where it stays really natural um i prefer the intense ones just because it's makeup it's intense and it's highlight what what else do you want me to say so it can be very intense, um, so just know what you're doing, know where to apply it, and definitely know when to stop. I've talked about applying it on top of foundation, but on a day where you don't really feel like wearing makeup, you could also just use it on your bare face and just put it on in the same places as you would put on your powder highlight or put it on on top of um, foundation. Um, and it's going to give you this really healthy glow um, that no one really achieves naturally but we all talk about it we all want to achieve that and liquid highlighter does that for you then as an in-between you could also mix it in with your foundation just to get this overall really cute glow um but you've got to be careful to not use too much and just because you're gonna look like a greasy chicken after applying that um you know just be gentle with liquid highlighter, especially when you're going to put it all over your face. Because there's no use to put it all over your face, mixing with your foundation, and then you're going to set it all with powder and it's just going to, the glow is going to disappear. Just find the balance between greasy chicken and normal person. Just separate it from all of that. You could also use the liquid highlighter as an eyeshadow. Um, which is really cute, especially when you match that with putting on the liquid highlighter all over your face, like on the highlighter points, um, just because it's going to tune in really well and the same colors and the same shades and the same reflection is going to be there like all over your face. And it's always pretty when your eyelids shimmer. Like I've talked about in the powder highlight video, um, you want to make sure that the shade that you're using as a liquid highlighter is... It kind of goes with your skin tone. Um, you know how I was like, don't use gold if you've got a light skin tone or don't use white or really light ones if you've got a darker skin tone. Um, just because it's going to look very weird. It's going to leave this weird cast on your face and it just, it's not going to look natural anymore. It's not going to look healthy anymore. It's just going to look like you could die at any given moment. 
These again range from the most natural to the most alienated colors. People do the craziest things and it can sometimes suit you, sometimes it doesn't suit you. Just look for whatever could suit you. Try things, it doesn't matter. Like Life is all about exploring and trying new things. Just like liquid highlighters. So I feel like that's it on the whole liquid highlighter video. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!